Oh, by the way, that reminds me of someone I criminally left out when you asked who I thought was the was the great uh, radical writer at the moment. I left out uh, Professor Noam Chomsky, who I mean I think is uh, one of the most extraordinary moral human beings of our time, and who's produced a, a shelf of books and critiques and findings and carefully calibrated work that holds up a mirror to American policy and society that, that it should look in more often. The reason I'm reminded of it is that um, there's a wonderful story about Noam. He went to the dentist one day. It's true. And the dentist said, you're grinding your teeth. And he said, no, I'm not as far as I know. And he said, oh, a lot of my patients say that. You're probably grinding them when you're asleep. And his wife sort of monitored him around the clock and he wasn't doing it. Went asleep and they monitored him more closely and they found he was only grinding his teeth in the morning when he was reading the New York Times. <laughs> and I, I think, A, that's a great story about Chomsky, all of whose stuff anyone watching this should rush out and buy. And who's an example to us all. But also because I have the same experience. Another email. What is Mr. Hitchens' opinion of Noam Chomsky and Chomsky's popularity among the left? Well, I used to be on quite good terms with Professor Chomsky. And uh, I've reread re the stuff of his that I used to admire, in particular an essay he wrote on General Sharon in Lebanon in 1982 or 3. Another essay he wrote on the American press and East Timor. And I was rather pleased to find that, um, though we've since, since um, diverged on so many things, that I still thought those were great essays and brilliantly written and brilliantly argued. I don't think he's writing as brilliantly or arguing as well now, and I think it has to do with the impossible task he set himself of effectively explaining away um, Islamic Jihadism as a function of American uh, policy mistakes. Um, I think he began doing this um, a little earlier actually in, in uh, during the Bosnian Wars when we first began to disagree where he, he almost seemed to write as if um, the United States was looking to punish the Milosevic re regime because it was a gallant socialist ex exemption to the general trend of globalization and needed to be hauled back into line. I thought anyone who could interpret what was happening in the Balkans that way where Milosevic was the, was the aggressor so palpably was, was losing perspective and I'm afraid that that's what Professor Chomsky has crucially done.